Bowling Mine got a bit of a reputation, a rough, tough area, but the people who belong in Bowling Mine are salt of the earth. Uh, they look out for each other. Uh, they look out for the community, especially the kids. This club has been here over 40 years. That's my father's gym. He passed away, I took it over, but how we still standing, I don't know. We've had numerous champions, like British champions, Welsh champions, only been one world champion. Um, but, it, you know, it's just been a great gym. Mario Macronelli emigrated to South Wales from Italy in the 50s. And having previously tasted success while boxing in the Italian army, his amateur boxing career continued in the valleys. For you to talk to me, you know, about my career, uh, my world title, my European Commonwealth, British, and the great fights I've had, it's all down to my dad. I wouldn't say he was, he was very strict, but he was strict up here with me. In general, we got him great, he's my best friend. I wouldn't be here now talking to you if it were for my dad. We do get them days where we don't want to train and don't want to go to the gym. And what I, what I found out over the years is the days you don't want to do something, you end up having your best workout because you, you soldier on, you get through it, and it makes you feel good. The COVID pandemic lockdown was a time when even the gym in Bonamine came to a stop. For so many, it was a time to reflect and battle on. It started off with a run to the top. On the hill, got to the top, so so chuffed they got to the top, put a little jokey video out um, to my followers on Twitter, uh, a bit of motivation, I can't say the words of what I said, but they loved it, and you know, it just stemmed from there, and I've been pretty much doing one ever since. Morning guys, got a cold one this morning, days I guess, really test your willpower to see. Uh, I started having messages thanking me for getting them off the backside, some of the messages I was having about people that are alcoholics and, you know, being in bed for days, they haven't left their house, and you know, they, they generally moved me, and I started doing that every day through lockdown, something different every day. Get out, do some exercise, and just make yourself feel good. Some days I didn't feel like it, but then, because I knew I had to do it for these, it sort of helped me as well. Don't Even though I like to think I'm uh, as tough as they come and as straight as they come, I have got, I have got a, a big heart, and certain things do affect me. You know, I've always obviously been very self-motivated, very self-disciplined, someone, and they need that little kick. You know, when I was younger, obviously, I had off my dad and some of the local fighters who trained at the gym. You know, they literally give a kick of a backside uh, just to just get some work done and just feel good about yourself. <laughs> actually find helping these kids just as rewarding as when I was fighting If they want anyone to talk to, if they got money problems, problems with sexuality, problems with family, problems at school, they can talk to me and we can help them as much as we can. And a couple have come to me and a couple have said a few things to me, so it's, they, they do know I'm there for them. You know, I don't care if they turn out to be top, top fighters, I just want them to turn out to be top young men, young women. They all see me training hard and they think I've got no problems. Everyone's got problems. Everyone suffers. It's, you know, it's okay to talk to people. It's okay to show a bit of weakness. Some, some of these kids that I know will come from alcoholic backgrounds, car thieves, drug addicts. But that's all stopped. They don't box no more. But they got families, they got kids, they got jobs. Some got their own businesses. Uh, it, it's just great to see kids want to come and the sport of boxing helped them turn their life around.